Let's start with a few warm-up exercises which helps in opening up the hip joints to get into Padmasana. Stand up in Tadasana. Place your hands on your waist. Starting with right leg, come on your toes and twist the foot in and out, in and out, in and out. Repeat the same on your left leg, in and out, in and out in and out. Same posture with different leg movement. Raise your leg in front and to the side. In front and to the side. Front and side. Front and side. Repeat the same with your left leg. Front and side. Front and side. Front and side. Interesting steps to open up ball and socket joint of the hip. Repeat these 5 to 9 times with normal breathing. Sit in Dandasan with legs in front, foot flexed and back straight. Now fold your right leg and place the foot on the left thigh. Press your knees to the floor and back. To the floor and back. To the floor and back. Along with this, rotation of the ankle joint, clockwise and anticlockwise can also be done, which is very effective. Please ensure that you don't press on your knee cap. Repeat the same from the left side. Press it to the floor and back to the floor and back to the floor and back rotation of the ankle can be repeated from this side as well you can do this five to nine times same posture different leg movement you are sitting in dandasan again now hold the middle middle right foot with both your hands now stretch the leg and back. Stretch the leg and back. Stretch it in front and back. Repeat the same from the left side. Hold your left foot and press. Stretch and press. Stretch and press. These exercises are good for getting into Padmasana. Sit in Dandasana. Lift your right foot and place it on your left elbow joint. Interlock your fingers and move your leg to and fro. Repeat this 5 to 9 times with normal breathing. This is also called baby rocking pose. Now repeat the same on the left side. Now slowly come back in Dandasana. Fold your legs at knee and place them as close to you with the outer edges of feet touching each other and open them interlock your fingers and open your feet and move your legs up and down this is the famous butterfly pose or the titliyasana this will help you to touch your knees to the floor also good gives good stretch to your inner thighs regular practice of these preparatory poses will give you the flexibility to bring feet as close to you as possible. Now, after all these warm-up exercises and the preparatory poses, you are ready to get into Padmasan pose. Sit in Dandasan. 
Lift your right leg up, bend and place it on the left thigh with the right heel touching the abdominal area. Now lift your left leg up and place it on the right thigh with the left heel touching the abdominal area. Breathing is normal. You can also start on your left leg first if you are comfortable with that. Now with the spine erect, place your palm on your knees in chin mudra and complete the spinal lotus pose. For few people who still cannot go into Padmasan, don't be disheartened. You can always go into Ardha Padmasan first. And with the regular practice, you will master this technique. The straight spine and the symmetry of this asana brings in the concentration power, which is further enhanced by doing Chin Mudra. The symmetry, stability and concentration of Padmasana makes it a perfect meditative posture. The pressed heel against the abdominal area improves the function of the abdominal organs such as the liver, spleen, pancreas and the entire digestive system. A word of caution though, people suffering from knee problems, rheumatoid arthritis should avoid doing this asana. Stay healthy, stay happy.